to explain, let's bring in our Yahoo Finances, Alexandra Semenova. So Alexandra, he got paid uh, last week. He took his check and he converted it part into Bitcoin, part into Ether. But he did it at a time of a crypto sell-off. So how smart an idea is to do this? Yeah, Karina, New York City Mayor Eric Adams lost about $1,000 converting his first biweekly paycheck as mayor to Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, after they plunged. And this is according to analysis, an analysis by the New York Post. Um, he is one of several high profile figures who have come out and said that they're going to accept their salary in Bitcoin to make a statement on where they stand on financial innovation. And with uh, digital assets becoming increasingly institutionalized, crypto perils are something that have come up often but are still kind of you know, working uh, their way out in terms of the logistics. Um, so politicians like Eric Adams, like Mayor Suarez of Miami, are doing this to uh, kind of pave the way forward for their cities and try to, you know, be the leaders of financial innovation for the cities that they represent. Um, but the recent pullback that we have seen in the crypto market really underscores the risks of choosing to convert your salary into crypto. And one of the biggest, most obvious risks is the volatility that we have seen in this asset class. Um, big price swings can dramatically affect the actual sum of what is paid out on every paycheck. And while there is potential that this could rebound and there is potential for upside, uh, for upside, excuse me, um, experts say that, you know, the reason that they're taking on only part of their salary is because they can afford to weather this level of risk, whereas ordinary people perhaps can't afford to get their wages paid out in crypto and risk, um, you know, the asset class plunging. Karina. Oh, hey there, uh, Alexandra. It's it's Alexis. I know. And just to be clear, Mayor Adams is taking his first three paychecks uh, in crypto and, I, and then he's reverting back uh, to, to the U.S. dollar. Um, but aside from all the volatility in the crypto space, why might somebody want to think uh, before they actually make that decision to take their salary in, in crypto? Well, there are several reasons that this is still a bit of a gray area. And uh, one of the other reasons is that we're still ways away from using crypto as a means of payment on a broader scale. So if you want to use your earnings for a direct transaction, like paying everyday expenses, uh, there are very few companies that accept it as a form of payment. So you can't really be paying your rent with it. You can't be paying for uh, groceries or utilities or anything like that. Um, another reason is taxes. There's a lot of paperwork involved in this. And with you know, looming regulatory clarity, there's still room for the IRS to change some of the guidelines on how it is taxed. And a lot of payroll departments will have to figure out how, you know, they pay out uh, crypto salaries and how they properly tax them. And then, of course, crypto scams as well. Um, you know, once you direct deposit, once you deposit a crypto payment, uh, it's really hard to track afterwards. And there's possibility of hackers going in and you know, wage theft happening uh, once you submit that payment. So it's still being figured out and we're ways away from seeing it rolled out on a broader scale.